Hello everyone, it's Bubonic Zombie. Welcome back to Surgeon Surgery Squad. Sorry, um, this is not Surgeon Simulator. <laughs> um, and today we are doing gastric bypass surgery. Now I know um, a handful of people, including my family, who've had gastric bypass surgery, and recently um, YouTube um, YouTube user Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight. Sorry, almost brain farted there. <laughs> I was thinking about. Um, other people who've had the surgery, but Boogie has had the surgery done very recently, and I wanted to do this surgery because, well, just just to support him. Um, I know I made comments on his video letting him know that uh, I know people personally uh, who went through the same uh, anxieties that he did, but I just want to do this. Um, because I really like his video, I really like his content, and I, I've never met the guy, but I have a feeling I would really like him in person as well. So, shout out to Boogie2988, um, thank you for what you do, and let's get started! I apologize ahead of time if, um, you know, I'm making the same squeamish sounds. <laughs> I've never had this done to me, but... At the same time, even people who had the surgery probably will not see a video of it happening to them as it's happening. So let's start. Welcome to Surgery Squad's virtual laparoscopic RNY gastric bypass surgery. I'm Dr. Jeff, and I'll be your guide for this procedure. Are you ready? Let's scrub in. Yep. Gastric bypass surgery is designed to assist an obese patient in weight control. In this operation, we'll create a very small stomach pouch from the existing stomach. We'll then attach the reduced section of the stomach to the small intestine. There are several common types of gastric bypass surgeries. We've recommended laparoscopic RNY gastric bypass surgery for our patient. The procedure will usually take two hours to perform, but with skills like mine and the magic of the internet, I bet we can whip this stomach into shape in about mm, five minutes. Our patient has been prepared for the procedure with a mild sedative, and now the anesthesiologist places a mask over her nose and mouth, and she'll drift off into dreamland. From here, we'll place an endotracheal tube down the patient's throat. You're up. See if you can get the tube Ugh. into place. Here it goes. Great work. This tube is then connected to a respirator. The patient is ready to go. Now we can begin our laparoscopic procedure. The first thing we'll do is make six half-inch incisions in the abdomen. Slide the scalpel in where I have marked to make the incisions. Be careful. These are small incisions. Don't get carried away. Okay. Oh, and just letting you guys know, Boogie is recovering very well, at least according to him and his videos. You guys can check out his channel on YouTube. That's Boogie2988. Oh, that sound! <laughs> I love the detail. You see the bruising around the area. Okay. Nice technique. You must have an excellent teacher. Oh, wait, that's me. Next, we'll place a device called a trocar into each incision. You egotistical person. <laughs> okay, place trocar. Ah, one of those. Oh, that sound. These devices allow us to easily slide the instruments into the abdomen. Some of the instruments we'll use include a light and a camera, so we can see what we're doing on a video monitor, as well as the surgical instruments, such as the stapler. Okay. Okay. Starting to feel like I'm working on a robot. 
Now, to give us plenty of room to work, we fill the abdomen with carbon dioxide. Okay. Let's face it. With the newbie helping out, we'll need all the room we can get. Time to Thanks, start the dude. gastric bypass. We'll use this monitor here to see our work. In RNY gastric bypass, we eliminate up to 90% of the stomach by making the patient's stomach the size of an egg. We do this by first placing a line of staples that separate the smaller new stomach from the whole old one. Then we sew along the staple line to make sure there are no leaks. As the patient heals, scar tissue will form to create a permanent separation. Click the stapler where indicated to create the new stomach pouch. Okay. Oh. We'll now separate the small intestine from the old stomach, about two feet down. Okay. The lower part of the intestine will be connected to the new, smaller stomach with a half-inch opening between the stomach and the intestine. It's kind of like rerouting traffic on the 405. Use the electrocautery device joke? to create a half-inch opening where indicated in the new stomach pouch. Okay. Now, drag hole. the loose end of the intestine to the new stomach pouch to attach it. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> it's like a worm. I'll add some sutures to hold it all in place. Because we need the secretions from the old stomach to assist in digestion, it gets reattached to the small intestine several feet below the new stomach. This part takes some guts. I need you to drag the free end Funny. of intestine attached to the old stomach over to the spot on the small intestine where indicated. Okay. Again, I'll suture it all into place. The new smaller stomach pouch was created. Everything has been reattached, and we checked for any leaks in the sutures. This new configuration allows our patient to feel full sooner when eating, but also lets the fluids from their original stomach aid in the digestive process. I'll need you to remove each of the laparoscopic instruments and trocars. Duh. Okay. Ugh. Again, that sound. Now we need to suture each of the incisions. Okay, no problem. There we go. Oh, it's like sewing a pair of pants. Nice work. I bet that won't even leave a scar. Uh, it'll now leave our a patient scar, dude. goes off to recovery. In most cases, they'll spend a few days here in the hospital so we can monitor their progress. Afterward, our patient will meet with her doctor and a nutritional specialist. They will assist her with her new lifestyle and eating habits. You've been a great help. Why not try another fantastic surgery at SurgerySquad.com? Okay, so we have a Botox procedure and we have a tonsil procedure so again uh well thank you guys so much for watching and again check out um youtube user boogie2988 again i'm a fan of his and he recently went through the surgery and um as far as what he what he told us is that he's doing really good so go check out his channel and uh again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you later bye